manual number number three as well, just like Monica, get to the point. So all the things that you had in mind when you were listening to Monica's speech, it's the same objectives for a, a Dietsch's speech. And he will be speaking about think before you click, and I'm looking forward to hearing what this is all about. Please help me welcome a teacher. Toastmaster, Toastmasters, and welcome, uh, distinguished guests. Before I start, think before you click. Think before you click. It's a relevant topic for today's scenario because uh, you don't just make a click on your phone, you make a click on your laptop and everywhere. Before that, I ask you a question. Do you print the copies of terms and conditions or the connect with an attorney or lawyer before you buy or sell a property? Do you, do you, do you like, take an attorney before you buy or sell a property? You do it by yes. yourself. Attorney. Attorney. Okay. Do you ever review the terms and conditions before you hit the accept button on your the app? No. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. All right. So, let me tell you what they ask for. They ask for, this app has access to your emails, your contacts, your phone, your photographs, your uh, uh, GPS, your location, and everything else. And what do you need this app for? A flash torch, which is probably be just using your camera's flash, or an alarm clock, or a music app, which has nothing to do with your location. So why it happens? Let me tell you. Statistically, 75 to 80 percent of the applications that you install on your phone are breached. Top three apps, either Android or, or the OS platform. You're thinking, okay, I'll start buying. Sorry, the percentage is higher in that scenario. It's around 90 percent. So what happens? Why these apps do that what they do? So let's try to dig into that. Anytime you hit the accept button. So basically what you do, you just go, you try to just go to the last page because with the compliance, they probably have to specify that you can only activate the accept button unless you're on the last page. So you just, just try to do it. You're, because you just want to jump on your game and you just hit the accept button and there you go. This particular application can have three scenarios. A, it's not a legitimate software. What they're telling you to do, they're not doing it. Right? B, they're probably taking your information and selling somewhere else. C, probably this breach had happened to this application through another application because it's insecure. What they have is called a malicious software called malware in your application. You have seen probably currently because this has happened a lot with these typical apps that you need, which is just a flashlight which you use in the dark. So you have seen probably like nowadays the phones companies, uh, providers have started giving you and you don't go for those apps in the market. So let's dig into that, why, how they do these, uh, ac get access to your information. Number one, somebody is using, you are using your phone to capture because you have a, a, a state of the art bank which says give me a check and I'll process your check. At the same time, when you are taking a picture of your check, the app spies on your camera, takes the picture, passes it to a remote server far, far away, probably in a different country. There you go. Your personal information is gone. Other thing can happen. You have the location. It knows where you are going. Everything is recorded. And then you have profile picture, images. Somebody is profiling you. Some application may not be doing anything uh, wrong, but they are just selling your information somewhere else to a third party. All such scenarios, you just become a victim of identity. You were just, it's your choice. You went, you uploaded, you, you downloaded that software and used that application. So what we do about it? What I would suggest, 
you have to think that, that the thing that you cuddle and do all the beautiful things that you love every day in the morning, night, before you wake up, you hand it. It's not a phone. That you have seen like early century of late 1990 with the cell phone. It's basically a computer which is making phone calls. It is equally vulnerable as your laptop. You have, so that's why it makes you vulnerable when you just click a button without thinking what application you have installed. Shut down the application you don't need. Look for the source, where the application, who's developing it, who's publishing it. That's one side of the identity theft. Let me take you another side. And before I move, let me tell you one quick interesting thing. If you haven't watched the movie Snowden, watch it. It will sensitize you. Now, I'm not for the side of whether he revealed the information to the uh, government or he did not. I'm not on that side. Just the use of the technology and how dangerous it is. And it's not the spy movie. It's happening. Anybody can do it. They can turn on your cell phone. The dangerous part. I told you the three things that can happen, right? T taking your information. Somebody can turn on your microphone, turn on your camera, record, and with a secure tunnel, send your information somewhere. Their application may be insecure, but that part is very secure because that's where information is stolen. All that can happen with any app which is insecure or has not a legitimate reason for that particular app. Another area where you can save yourself is phishing attacks. So one is you install the application. This comes in a different form. Suppose a email comes to you and says, Click this, and it looks like a very legitimate email is coming from your bank, but it may not be the same. It has a link which will take you somewhere else, on a different server, on a different location. It sounds like a legitimate ad, but it's not. So if you look carefully, check the domain name, it may not be the legitimate. There is many other ways to figure it out. Is it, a, is it a right email that came to you, or it is somebody spamming you with a, a phishing attack? Somebody just said, somebody said, uh, technology is a good servant, but a dangerous master. So I leave it at choice to you. You want to be a slave, or you want to be a master. Thank you very much.